In this video, I'm going to share with you one of the most aggressive blitzes in the game, and it's actually really, 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 really good for any three receiver set that you will face in this game, such as Trips Tied In, or U Trips, or Bunch. This is really good for those formations. So, to illustrate this best, I'm going to come out in the Bunch. I think this is the best against Bunch. Um, it, really do think this is really incredible against bunch so i'm just going to come out in a bunch passing play uh let me come out in verticals and the blitz is over so brave now this is out of our nickel over or nickel normal defense uh we released this ebook i think about a week ago almost a week ago um if you want to get it it's in our patreon so patreon members get access to all of our ebooks it's only 10 bucks to sign up for the patreon and again like i said it gets you access to all of our ebooks we've released nine offensive and defensive ebooks so far this year we have several more planned for the season as well as numerous updates which our members get access to all of that stuff so would really encourage you to join the patreon but this blitz right here is really really good for bunch and like i said any trips formation you can you don't have to just run it out of man um but it's over storm brave out of nickel over and all we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch our defense and I totally messed this guy up. This guy would normally be right here. Uh, but we're going to pinch our defense. And then I like to show blitz. Now, why? you might ask, why do you like to show blitz? Well, a couple reasons. The first one is because it's going to bring, obviously it brings the safeties down. But it puts the safeties in a better position to kind of react and man coverage quickly. But it also kind of brings this guy who's going to be our user in this defense it's going to bring him you know down in here so that i can actually take control over him and actually make him you know usable so you see here how he's already in the box and i'm already able to get this guy ready to roll now i like to basically you know run it just like this you can crash your line down you can crash your line out whatever you want to do uh, but basically the idea with this is that if they block their running back you should see that we're going to get a some pressure off of either side so if they block the running back which is the way most people like to pick up pressure at this point in the year this is a great blitz for the people who like to block the running back because again you see how fast it is to set up i could then create whatever coverage i want if i want to outside third one of the most underrated things in this game is to outside quarter the bunch side guy because what will happen is is that if they block their running back a lot of times that outside quarter will match that number one receiver wherever he goes a little bit better than man to man will uh anyways and then we'll see here you see how the pressure can come in pretty quickly and then we're able to kind of lurk into coverage and again this is a blocked running back now if they are if they're not blocking their running back a lot or maybe this is like your opening blitz one of my favorite things to do is to take this linebacker um you don't have to necessarily just do the linebacker but you could take this defensive end and man him up on the running back and what you'll see is if the running back goes on a route he'll go guard him and will still get really good pressure off of the right side now the one caveat to this is if they do block a running back this can make your uh six man pressure a little bit more effect more um problematic so you'll see here we're really trying to get the blitz to come off the right in that situation but if they do block the running back as you can see the blitz kind of gets picked up and eh, not quite as good so if they're blocking their running back consistently then you definitely want to send the six man but if they are willing to put their running back on a route i would go ahead and man up either the linebacker or the defensive end on the running back that way if he goes to the flat now i don't have to really worry about him i can just lurk over in the middle now another thing you might notice with this blitz is it can kind of get randomly picked up uh, i will say this is like i said it's primarily a trips blitz that i like to use against three wide receiver formations to one side because as you can see here i don't have any responsibility right i can easily just assign one of these other guys to do that now what if they motion across well i'm glad you asked so let's say they motion a slot across you're going to see my nickel corner just goes with him so really simple really 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 simple and then um you know if they if they do something like this and you've got these guys blitzed if that running back goes to the flat you've got to go guard him um, and obviously you're going to get really good pressure from this now you can also do this from any from any play in the formation so let's say i want to do it out of cover two you see here we're just going to uh, globally blitz our linebackers you can crash your line down if you want and then from there you're now in a zone look uh to the left side and then maybe we want to play you know man on the other side so you see here again they've got that guy on a route we're going to go get him but then we have a zone kind of change up look 
to the other side. They basically have to block, uh, they basically have to max protect to block this blitz or be really, really good with slide protection. And like I said, I like to blitz my user. I do think it's a little bit better if I blitz my user. Uh, and as you can see here, if they do block their running back now, I can just bail and go play whatever I want. Now, this is a super simple defense. This has been a really good blitz for years in Madden. Uh, but we actually have some defenses in our ebook out of the nickel over that will teach you how to get incredible pressure while not having to use or the safety and still being able to come in against a block running back or still being able to come in and kind of have a little bit better of a standard alignment with this as well uh, that we create in that. We also have a seven man pressure out of nickel over that will come in literally with against any blocking scheme. They could block eight or nine people, and we would be able to guarantee our pressure with this seven man. It's probably the, the most dominant overload blitz in the game. Uh, the thing about it is we don't run it a lot, right? We want to run it situationally. But this is a great little blitz that we could run to kind of force them into a max protect where then we could drop coverage out of this. And the beauty of this alignment, uh, real quick, by the way, again, like why I like this so much against trips, formations like bunch and stuff, I can man that linebacker up the running back. He's going to do a good job on the running back. And then on the right side here, I can drop this other dude into, you know, I could drop him into man coverage on the tight end. And then, you know, maybe we could do something like this. And you see how the alignment of the safeties really can help me a lot. And then, you know, nickel normal arguably gets probably some of the better sheds in the entire game. And now we're in max coverage as you can see. So there's a lot we can do with the defense. I just wanted to show you this simple little blitz I really like for three wide receiver sets like bunch and stuff um, because what you can do off of this is really create a very aggressive defense where you're going to be blitzing a lot and guaranteeing your pressure and then at the same time being able to at the right time kind of pull those coverage checks whether it be out of match coverage which in match coverage you can actually put the safety down there in this type of formation and it would still be fairly effective or in man man-to-man -man or zone coverages, which you can also kind of rotate stuff and do a lot with that as well. I want to thank you for watching this video. Again, if you want to learn my entire nickel over defense, make sure that you join my Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that. And again, like I said, it gets you access to the full nickel over ebook, as well as all of our other ones. We have nine offensive and defensive ebooks available at the Patreon, and members also get access to all the updates to those ebooks, which we're going to be dropping some updates for you guys very, very soon. So thanks for watching the video, and if you want to sign up for the the nickel over uh, defense, or um, I'm sorry, if you want to sign up for the Patreon so that you can get the nickel over defense, make sure you do that. The link is down in the description. So head on down there and hopefully we'll see you guys over at the Patreon page.